Cowabunga, the brand new animated Turtles movie, TMNT, Mutant Mayhem, hits theaters on August 2nd. And to celebrate, Playmates Toys, the company that's been making awesome TMNT action figures since the animated series in the 90s, is back with a whole new line of Mutant Mayhem toys. So let's open them up. Okay, let's start with the five inch scale line, which will run you 10 bucks a toy. Awesome price, honestly, because they come with a bunch of cool stuff. We've got a wide variety of turtles and mutant villains. They all come with accessories and the old school weapon racks, just like the 90s toys did. We've got the four turtles, obviously, of course, got to start with them. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. I really like these toys. I really like the designs of these figures. Uh, the actual art direction in the movie is different than pretty much anything we've ever seen in the turtles movies before uh, so I'm excited to see how they translate to the toys themselves um, the turtles in these movies skew a little bit younger than we've seen them before and so it kind of gets reflected in these toys too and they each have sort of their own designs to them and different colors kind of like the 90s toys did as well so yeah let's tear these things open one thing I want to point out the card backs uh, Gorgeous, they all have drawings of different figures in the lines instead of just photographs of them. Uh, I love seeing the whole collection lined up there. Plus these little cards that you can cut out, uh, just like old school action figures did in the 90s. And then beautiful artwork on the front that I just pour right into. But hey, toys are meant to be open. So let's start with Leonardo. Uh, once again, really awesome toys, great uh, points of articulation. We've got the uh, hands, the elbows, the uh, arms up here, and then the head. Really awesome, just wonderful designs on these toys. They're super bright, super colorful, great facial expressions, tons of accessories. Each figure comes with a uh, canister of ooze, stuff like ninja stars and throwing daggers. They each come with a pizza slice, which uh, come in different colors. Uh, his is silver which, you know, not the best flavor for pizza. I don't know if that's like liquid metal, but the turtles eat weird stuff on pizza, man. Like they put, uh, you know, mayonnaise and ice cream and all that stuff. We've got two daggers here, uh, obviously. Uh, Leonardo's katanas, his iconic weapon, and um, some throwing stars printed on his belt. You can also take those katanas and stick them into his back for storage, which I love. And what's really cool, each turtle comes with a tiny turtle, you know, like before they mutated. So um, they get to see their former selves when they were young, normal turtles. So yeah, that's Leonardo, great toy. Uh, but let's see, let's see how he looks with, with all of his friends. Next up, Michelangelo, the fan favorite, probably the most popular turtle. Once again, uh, we've got storage on the back for his nunchucks, which are great. These nunchucks are super chunky. I really like how they feel. Um, they've got this uh, big kind of goofy, super deformed, oversized look to them. Once again, weapon rack. This one comes with an extra set of nunchucks, uh, a grappling hook, ninja stars, a little pizza slice, the tiniest one, but it is orange, which seems more like it's made from real flavors and cheese and stuff like that. Uh, and once again, here's a tiny little turtle, former turtle of himself, which I really love. These toys are so good. Like they're just really, really fun. Again, love these facial expressions on these, on these figures. Donatello, the brains in the group, the smartest one. Um, he's got some really cool accessories this time around. He's got glasses, which actually stick right into the side of his head. He looks so goofy, look at that, I love him. Um, he's also got headphones, which you can, you know, stick on his ears, stick around his neck. Uh, here we have his bow staff, which, yep, goes right into his back or in his hands. He's also got this uh, cool bow staff dagger thing. And then again, tiny version of himself. The bigger are the pizza slices we've seen so far. He's got like a nunchuck set, another, you know, the, the ooze canister and uh, everything else with the weapon rack. Love him too. Yeah, these, these toys are awesome. Like they're just really, really fun. I could not be more excited for this movie. Finally, Raphael, my favorite turtle, uh, because I don't know, he's, he's always sarcastic and depressed. He should be in therapy, but you know, he's working on it. This one specifically really cool because he has the bandana look from the Michael Bay movies, which I think a lot of people weren't happy about, but seeing it, he's the only one with it and his personality is kind of drastically different than the other turtles. I'm okay with that. He comes with a pair of Psy, the uh, little, you know, daggers that he held uh, since the nineties. And those also, once again, you can store those in his little things on the side right here. Uh, he gets a pizza slice on the side, some swords, 
uh, some hooks, ninja stars, and once again, a tiny version of himself. So yeah, that's the four turtles. They look so cool. Like they're just so awesome together. I'm so glad we're getting a brand new Turtles movie, new set of toys to play with, but these guys can't just fight each other. I mean, they do, right? They, uh, they practice down in their subterranean dojo, but they need enemies. They need people to fight. But before that, I think they need a little leadership. They need some guidance. So let's bring in Splinter, the master rat himself, played by Jackie Chan in the movie. Uh, let's check out this toy. Okay, so here we have Master Swinner. He's got a funny little rat tail on his back there, uh, which is very strange looking. I like that he has glasses. I think that's very cute. Uh, he also comes with a little cane that, you know, uh, he can use to walk with or um, I guess hit the turtles with when he's like, were you seen? And they're like, no master. And then he shows them the newspaper. So yeah, that's a great toy right there. A um, little tough to get him to stand. Uh, he's got some articulation on his legs and his arms, but other than that, he's like a big, chunky, thick piece of plastic right there. So a uh, little hole in his back. I don't know what happened there. Maybe another rat took a bite out of him. Um, so yeah, that's Splinter. There he is with the crew, with the turtles, teaching them what to do and what not to do. Uh, he's got a bow and arrow. He's got some arrows with him right here. No pizza for him. Everybody else got pizza but him. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed about that. Splinter, what's your deal? He doesn't eat pizza? Come on, get out of here. Okay, let's get into the villains because uh, there's a ton of them in Mutant Mayhem, more than we've ever seen in any of these movies. We got Bebop, Rocksteady, we have Leatherhead, and we also have this brand new villain, Superfly, who's played by Ice Cube in the movie. We haven't heard of Shredders in this movie yet, I have a feeling he'll make a cameo at the end, or maybe like a post credit singer thing, but this is the big bad in this movie. This is Superfly. So let's open up him first and see how he's doing. All right, so this is the new villain, Superfly. Uh, really interesting toy here. It's got one gigantic arm with a claw on it that does not open up. It just sort of exists. Uh, and then you've got these wings on the back that you can piece together, just like this. Pop them right in. There we go. Okay, you've got these wings in the back that you can pop in just like that. Um, his weapon rack's got some interesting stuff. We don't know a ton about this toy or, or this villain, uh, but he comes with a fly swatter, which is very funny to me because uh, he's a fly. He comes with what looks like shotgun shells, a canister of some sort of uh, weird liquid. He's got these two little hands in the front and then these funny little legs here, and then uh, this cool uh, kind of blaster gum thing, which is a very 90s Ninja Turtle toy. I just, I really dig that. This feels like one of the later wave Ninja Turtle toys we would have gotten back in the day. Um, interesting articulation on the arm, moves a little bit like that, and then right here, but nothing on the elbow. And then uh, he's got these little feet. I wonder if he, he seems like he might be a little tough to stand. No, he's good to go. So this is Superfly, once again, played by Ice Cube in the movie, the new big bad in the film. It's got some friends to roll with him. Let's check out Leatherhead, one of my favorite characters from uh, the original Ninja Turtles animated series is going to be in the movie. This toy is awesome. I, I love this one right off the bat. I really, really like this toy. These are all like they very, very hyper stylized. Look, look, this one's got this big goofy grin on his face and then, you know, these kind of squinty eyes and he's kind of looking out. Uh, he's got this shotgun here, which you can stick into his, uh, let's see, can that stick it right in there? Yeah, you can. So he's got storage uh, for his shotgun right on the back. And then uh, he's got his own weapon rack. Let's see what's in the weapon rack. So this one comes with a uh, trap for him to step in, a fishing rod. Um, I guess if he gets hungry, he can go find some food. He's got a knife uh, and a gun. Great, great toy right here. But you're probably waiting for uh, Bebop and Rock City themselves. These are uh, some of the more interesting redesigns we've seen out of this entire film. Um, they are very, very, very over the top. So let's tear into these. Okay, so this toy is really interesting right off the bat. Instead of having a sort of like a, a joint articulated head, it just has like a swivel. Like it's just this big goofy swivel. His This toy is like 80% face, which is just so funny to me. He's got uh, hair on this side, and then they almost look like tribal tattoos. He's just got very hairy arms. And then uh, he comes with a sledgehammer, 
um, a couple of guns, a knife, and this shield that looks like a New York City manhole cover. Um, awesome, awesome stuff right here. Uh, he's got his bullet belt, his you know camo fatigues on, and some uh, big stomping boots. And then look at that butt. That's a funny butt for a rhino. I like this toy a lot. And finally, we've got Bebop. Bebop comes with a drill gun, which is great. Reminds me of something he would have been rocking in the video game. He's got a, a tattoo that says, wow. I think he probably asked the tattoo artist to put mom on there, but um, maybe he was upside down. There was, you know, some, some something got lost in translation there. This is a great toy too. I love his little feet, his uh, kind of um, Chuck Taylors he's got on, and he's got his weapon rack, which comes with a spiked bat, a smaller drill gun, a big, huge knife, and another uh, garbage can lid manhole cover style shield for him to hold on to. This one's got great tusks. He's got a, you know, different than Rock City over here, but the two of these together, I just, I think these are great. These look awesome. All right, so these are the $10 five inch scale line. I have a feeling we're gonna see a ton more mutants in that line. All right, so Playmates is also launching a bunch of cool vehicles for these toys to ride around Manhattan in, but my favorite of which so far is the Pizza Fire Van, which basically takes the original uh, Pizza Launcher toy and the Ninja Turtles Party Wagon by combining them into one pizza delivery car that also shoots pizzas. Uh, you can stuff the turtles into this, and I cannot wait to see this because I'm a huge fan of pizza, huge fan of turtles, and this just looks like so much fun. All right, so uh, this is awesome. It comes with a pizza slice and pepperoni stickers. You bet I will be putting those on. Whoa, I was not expecting that. Also comes with a ton of different pizzas that come with individual pizza stickers that you can stick on, window stickers and decals and fun stuff like that. We've also got this frame up here that pops on, I think just like this. Yeah, I'll even be able to put license plates back here. Uh, this one says extra cheese. All of these stickers will go onto all of these pizzas and all of these pizzas will shoot out of this car. So yeah, let's put it together. It's just awesome. So here I have Raph hanging out in the back. Uh, there are pegs here for their feet, um, little handles to hold on to. The front, as you can see, uh, opens up. There we go, and you can stick whatever you want in there, any kind of turtles. Uh, right now I got Leo, he's driving, he seems the most responsible. Theoretically, I, I don't know if any of these guys actually have their license, but you know what, I'm not gonna snitch. We've got Donatello up there. You're probably wondering like, where's Michelangelo? Well, uh, good question. All you have to do is, boom! Hit that button on top, which is a giant pizza. Mikey pops out, and we've got this awesome sidecar action going on here. Uh, this thing takes three AAA batteries. Let's turn them on. Uh-oh, ready? So cool, it's so good. I love it so much. So yeah, he tucks right back in there. Uh, doors close. There's nothing that would ever tip anyone off that there are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles inside this car. Nothing whatsoever, especially not a giant sticker of Michelangelo uh, holding pizzas or uh, the fact that it says turtle power on the side. Um, this is just a big, fun, chunky toy. Got pizza time on the back, pop these wheels on the bottom, and uh, like I said, the stands on the side. So yeah, it comes with eight pizzas. The only thing is the pizzas, they don't really have a ton of different flavors or toppings on them. It's mostly just traditional stuff. A little surprised about that, but this is their pizza delivery car. Maybe they bring, you know, the more traditional pizzas to people. And then when they get home, they eat the ones that have like uh, anchovies, ice cream, and mozzarella and shoelaces or whatever. They're out of their minds. It's really, um, it's amazing they're not sick. They should all have stomach aches constantly. So yeah, all these toys are rolling out to stores right now. So go hit up your favorite local retailer, look out for them or buy them online. We'll have tons more coverage of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem right here on IGN in the coming weeks. So keep it locked to IGN for more. Let's kick shell.